degree in math. My name is Carla Franco. I'm a math teacher, but my greatest accomplishment of court is a parent. Uh, this is the summertime right now, and it, what always better than the summer and all year long is to work with your children in math at home, and what better way to do it is with a recipe. When you're cooking every day, everybody has to eat, and of course your children need to eat 20 times a day. Um, we're going to do strawberries and cream. We're going to be doing measurement. Um, this is a we aren't cooking in the oven, and um, what's important is on these recipes, it will tell you, first of all, how many servings, 10 to 12 servings. This is what we're going to make. Uh, if I were going to have a party of 24 people, I would have to double a recipe, okay? So this is a single recipe, and if I have a double, I have 36, you know, one and a half, uh, two and a half, uh, you know, the different ways that you just keep adding. So the first one thing we're going to need is it says one can of Eagle Brand. We have one can of Eagle Brand, or it says 14 ounces, okay? How many ounces make a cup? Eight ounces. But usually these recipes follow what is on the can. So this is 14 ounces, and we're going to add this to the bowl. I may have to wash my hands periodically because this stuff is delicious and it is so sticky. Okay, the next thing is one and one-third cups of water. Okay, here we go. Your measuring cup, one and one-third. I already measured it, one and one-third. If I were gonna double it, one and one-third, double one, two, one times two, a third, double a third, two-thirds, uh, two double the whole number, double the fraction. Here we go. Add it, mix it up, okay, uh, also two cups of Cool Whip, one 12 ounce uh, prepared loaf of pound bread, which I already did, pound cake, cut into cubes, six cups, uh, four cups of fresh strawberries, here we go, our fresh strawberries, delicious, uh, a half a cup of preserves. Uh, I measured these. These are about a half a cup, so there's our half a cup of strawberry preserves. And then, of course, toasted sliver almonds to go on top. Now, double two cups of Cool Whip times two, four cups. Uh, double one prepared loaf of pound cake. Well, then, of course, you're going to have to buy two. Uh, or 12 ounces, double 24. Uh, four cups of fresh strawberries, double four times two will be eight. This is, this is everything that you can do with your, and ask your students, I mean your children. Uh, I ask my students too all the time, but they don't seem to be able to relate, you know, unless they do these things at home with their parents. And that's where I ask for parent support, teacher support, and student support, because if they don't want to do things, it gets more difficult. Okay, what else do we need here? Um, condensed milk, water, uh, add the pudding mix. There we go. And this is, uh, on the box it says 3.4 ounces, 96 grams. It's always said here. And then this thing says here, instant pudding, uh, three and a half ounces or one package, more or less. So always they, they're going with the packages. So we're going to mix this. And you know what? I think I'm going to have to put this on the mixer. Okay, that, they say to cook this for five, uh, to stir it for five minutes so that it gets thick like pudding. So I'm just going to give it a minute to work with. Uh, remember, this is always great. Students, uh, your children can read uh, these recipes because, of course, math is all about reading too. Uh, look how many ounces. Um, does it match ours? Do we have to double it? Do we have to get two containers on the recipe? Oh, this is wonderful uh, work with math. This is all about math. What time? How long do we put it in the oven? Five minutes. What's five minutes? What are you doing during five minutes? Uh, just everything. All the types of questions that a child should be able to answer, you know, from first grade kindergarten on the way up. It's experience. Okay. I think it mixed pretty good. Pull 
bottom. Okay, here, measuring cup. Move it out of the way a little bit. Also, uh, working with your children, prep. I prepped all of this. Uh, plastic knife. This is so easy to cut, to cut up, and it's wonderful while you're talking, put some music on it. It's really a very relaxing thing, and then what better way is to eat it after or to show your family when everything is done. Uh, reading the recipe, like I said, uh, then it says, in a large mixing bowl, combined sweeten, could add pudding mix, beet, uh, fold in whipped cream. Next step. Okay, here's our whipped cream. And if my child were here, they would be able to tell me that. And I, okay, then I'd be doing this. Or they'd be doing it. I'd be reading it to them. So we're going to fold in this whole thing. I'm telling you, this is the best thing to work. Uh, it always seems that children are so, I mean, even parents, <laughs> uh, grown-ups, afraid of fractions, uh, they're really very easy, really very easy, and in a moment I will show you other easy ways to show fractions. Not only recipes, but other interesting things that are fun, fun for the kids. Okay, we fold it in the Cool Whip, and the next thing it says, uh, spoon two cups pudding mixture into a four-quart round dish. Two cups. If this is a half cup or four ounces, a whole cup, it says a whole cup, and then also on the other side it says ounces, a, whole, a cup is eight ounces. So it put in, fold in two cups. Uh, well, I'm going to say a third. Let's just say a third. So I'm looking at this whole bowl, okay? And I'm going to visually say, okay, I'm going to separate into three equal portions, okay? And then I'm going to put that third into the bottom of this. Done. Spread it all around. Yum. <laughs> this stuff is the best. The best. Wait until. I'm sure you can have, but you can do it. You can do it. Just stir a little bit more. Get that eagle brown with everything. Next, it says the next step, since it's going to be layers, different layers, equal layers, let's say that again. Uh, we're going to do the top with cake cubes. I'm going to do a third too. Let's visually look at it. A third. Okay, I'm going to just cut off the top part here. And I'm going to put all a third of this all on the bottom. That look about a third that I took off? I think so. Done. Next, next step. And after we get these steps down, we're gonna go roll, we're gonna be rolling. Preserves, uh, pudding mixture, strawberry. Oh, yum, yum. Put the strawberries. Third, again, visually, we're gonna look at it. Because I, I like to make three, I'm going to make three layers, so one-third, one out of three, okay, that looks good to me, and then preserves, a third, this is a small one, but it still works, and then let me get another spoon real quick, a third of this, yum. Everybody's mouth's watering, I'm sure. A third, okay? We did all of that. So now we're just going to keep doing it. The other third that we did, okay, I'm going to separate this in, now into two equal parts because I took one of the uh, parts out. So now I'm going to separate into two, and we're going to pour this. And then half is what's a half? One out of two equal parts. So you half is you separate into half. Like as if you did an apple, what's half? Okay, there's the cream. What was our next step? Separate this. Yeah, and this is all pound cake too. 
So moist. Why did it say, why do you think they call it pound cake? What do you think? A pound? How many ounces in a pound? 16 ounces. 16 ounces in a pound. Half of a pound. What's half of 16? Separate it. Divide it by two. Separate into two equal portions. Eight strawberries. Half of this one. Because I already separated into three equal portions visually, okay? So we just did that. So I have the other portion to put. And I want to give the preserves. Done. All over. Delicious. Okay, next. Last but not least. You know, and I'm going to save just a little bit on, to go on the top because it looks so pretty with this. Most of it. Remember, we don't have to cook. Remember the oven, too. 350 degrees. What is that? Degrees, OK? Fahrenheit, not Celsius. OK, it's not the metric system. We're doing 350 degrees, but we don't have to cook this. Do you think it's 350 degrees outside? No, that would be on the sun, if not more. Most would get is what, 115 here. Next would be, I'm going to do the last of this, the pound cake. Yum, because I don't need to show this on the top, pound cake. Spread it out. Of course, my hands are washed. You have to wash your hands. You always tell your children, wash your hands. Uh, strawberries. I'm just going to leave a couple to put on the top of the, the cream that I'm going to leave. OK, strawberries. And here we go, the last part, all over. Oh my gosh. This is such a delicious, delicious recipe. OK, that. Now we're going to do the last part of the cream. I'm going to try and make it look beautiful. One. Remember, and then what did you do when you were younger as a, as a, as a child? Lick the bowl. And this is perfectly uh, well to eat to lick this bowl because there's no raw eggs. Okay, let's just kind of swish it. Beautiful. Okay, and lick the bowl. Now I'm going to set just some pretty, put it right here on the top because they had a picture and it looked beautiful. Set there, and then almonds. I toasted these almonds. Almonds are so good for you, too. If you, if you all just went together and made granola a healthy snack, I know my children, they're always hungry. Granola, they put oats, uh, uh, fruit, dried fruit in it, all the mixtures, and those recipes. These are recipes for you to follow. Okay. Tell your son or daughter, if we're going to double it for all your friends to come over because they're going to be swimming, how what's double? Double the fractions. Double the whole numbers. OK. See how wonderful this is? Now, remember, this is so much fun to work with your children and mix with and talk and converse. And uh, remember, just do different things. Math is fun. It really is. So enjoy, and uh, we will.